What's going on guys? I'm back here with the Hyper Go and let's go ahead and take this little guy out. Got the 2S already in there. I already have here the 3S which fits in there pretty good. Um, and I guess we won't be using this body just in case. We'll be using this body. And I'm not even going to put the wing or the skid plates. And I did change out the, the pins. See that? So this is what the pins look like now. The other ones were just too big and they would pop out because they were like, uh, they were too thin. These ones are uh, thicker, so they stay in the holes a lot better. And these are actually to a 124 scale RC. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, button. Whoa. I'm going to go ahead and button this guy up and we'll take it out. So I'll meet you guys out front. All right, guys. So I'm outside. Got the little truck here, and I must say, it feels pretty good. It actually uh, does wheelies just with the 2S. Feels really good. I, I would put it up in the hat cam and try to get some passes with it. But I don't want it to be shaking, you know? But I could probably get it better with the hat cam on. Let me, let me give that one a shot, see if that works a little bit better. All right, so I got it in the hat cam. I'm really hoping it doesn't start vibrating all over the place. I don't want that. Okay, here we go. So this is just 2S right here. And it already feels pretty good, guys. It does. It feels really good. Here comes somebody real quick. Let them pass by, okay? Trying to make it to where it doesn't shake a lot. Is that full speed? Yeah, that was full speed right now. Full speed. That was full speed. That wasn't that fast, but it wasn't that bad neither. Um, man. Got all these cars coming all of a sudden, and they want to come all slow and get out the way. All right, so here we go again. Let's take it way over there. Oh, great. What is it with this guy? This guy just keeps coming around the block over and over. So that was full speed, guys. That was a full pass right there. Full speed full speed see I could already see it's trying to vibrate I'm sorry guys that's because of me um, let me try my artist here whoa whoa Pretty good. It feels pretty good with a. This is a 25C battery. But I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the hat cam, guys. I really don't want to ruin the footage of this with a bunch of vibration from my body, you know? Which sucks for you guys. It, it, has, it actually makes people feel sick, they said. So i sorry, guys, about that. I should have taken my meds, but I didn't feel like it. All right, let's put this right. Oh, let's put that right here. And uh, let's go ahead and get this little guy set up. All right, so. And that's like better, so you guys don't have to see any vibration here. Let's see. And it feels really good. It feels good, but it's just not extremely fast. See, that was full speed right there. Full speed. There's another full speed. But at least... At least there's one positive. I noticed that this RC, I could go full speed and it doesn't feel like it wants to tip. 
tip over, but I bet you all that will change when I put that 3S in there. So let's get a couple more passes with the 2S. Let's go ahead and put this over here. Try to make this a little better for us here. Okay. It does use the wheelie bar. Look at that. It's just 2S, so you can make it wheelie, which is really good. See, that's full speed there. Full speed. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Not bad for a 2S. It's not extremely fast, but uh, it's definitely worth messing around with. So now let me take this back over here. Let's get a couple of passes with this 3S in there. That's where it's really going to wake it up. All right, let's put that right here. And uh, let's get this little guy in there. All right, let's see. Let me go ahead and get that in there real quick. Dress it all back up. So it's in there, guys. Got the 3S in there. You guys can see it fits pretty good. It's perfect in there. That is the perfect size 3S battery. So here's our 7.4 7 25C battery right here. A bit shaky now. Sorry, guys. Part of these bad nerves. So uh, let's go ahead and start making a few passes with this. And let me turn it on. Let's see. Do we got power? Yes, we do. Wow. Steering definitely is faster. So let me go ahead and dress this guy up. Show you guys the battery. Fits in there perfect. So let me go ahead and dress this up and we'll get started. All right, guys, got it all set up, but I already know I'm not gonna be able to go full throttle, I don't think. This guy is just way too fast here. See that? It's definitely got some get up and go. It's like way too uh, uncontrollable like this. I think I have a car coming again. Yeah, it's like really, really uncontrollable with this. Like, guarantee it's going to flip over, especially with all the wind that's happening today. But it, it does wake it up. Look at that. Yeah, I can't even take it all the way. It's just too damn fast. Sorry, guys. I know I'm out of here. Forgive me. Yeah, that's just absolutely fast. Ah, uh, come on. Oh, they're probably just going to go around me. All right, cool. All right, I don't think he liked it that. Okay, not really no ballooning, guys. Yeah, that's definitely going to hit around 30, 32. Definitely. Look at this. From just the standstill, it wants to flip over. So it is really fast. It's almost like the E-Revel. Really, really good, guys. Really good. If I like lay down the speed slowly. I can get some power out of it. I need some speed. Let's try it again. Wow, that is just too fast. Yeah, that's just really fast, guys. That is just way too fast for me. It's too fast for me. This little guy is just too small to be going that fast. You can see a guy with a steady hand can go ahead and rip this thing to death. Yeah, it's definitely worth, worth it. And I told you guys that I'm going to change out that transmitter. So, it'll be a lot better truck. Maybe even change the tires. I've seen another Hyper go. One, uh, the same scale, 
but it had better tires. They look better. So I think I'm about buying those. And uh, that's pretty much it. Everything else is all right. I don't even need to buy a 3S for it. See that? It's like not, this is like where, this is like showing off mode right here. Possibly breaking something. It's, it's it's a lot fun, and I'll tell you that much. But uh, it's just hard to control. But somebody with a steady hand would be able to really rip it full speed. Yeah, so it's not a bad truck. I mean, I'm sure I didn't have to tell you guys that. It kind of reminds me of the Bandit. If I didn't know any better, it feels like it's two-wheel drive. It's mostly on two wheels the entire time. All right, no one's coming. Definitely an awesome truck. And it's going to be so much better with that other transmitter. I heard that if you get rid of the transmitter and transmit, put a better one, that it takes away the delay because this thing's got a delay in it. I don't know if it's like that on purpose so it saves the dips and whatever else is in there, but uh, are you coming this way? All right. Yeah, it like saves the dips. It like has a bit of a, like a lag to it. But uh, other than that, it's pretty good, but I don't like this transmitter. It just doesn't suit this truck properly. It really doesn't. So, I'll be doing the video on that one. We'll change out this guy. But so far, it feels pretty good. It's definitely something that you can show off. So, if you take this little guy and you take out a 3S, you're definitely going to be messing around with 3S. And you, like, you're going to be res messing around with other 3Ss and even 4S RC cars because this thing keeps up pretty good, pretty good. And it's really, I love that it's a, you're able to just go ahead and willy whenever you want. Yeah, it's just the steering, the steering's a little fast, but I'm hoping to get rid of that. I'm hoping to get rid of that when uh, I change out the transmitter. So that way I could, oh, a little bit of interference there car was moving by itself yeah but that's pretty much the end of this one guys i thought i'd just do a couple of little passes on here just to show you guys what it's about i really don't need to show you guys you know it's an awesome car really awesome truck here heavy heavy little guy too i like it a lot it's uh really worth the cash And uh, you can show off. You can show off and speed because it does hold itself down to the floor. Sort. I mean, even though I'm getting the front tires are going up, it still keeps itself a little planted a little bit better. I did change the oil in there to a higher, uh, more thicker oil. So that kind of helped out so the butt, so the butt doesn't sag as much. Really awesome truck. Oh. Yeah, so that's pretty much the end of this one, guys. I am going to do another video, and I'm going to take this guy off-roading and uh, see what it can do off-roading. You know, we could go ahead and do a little off-roading right here, and we won't have to worry about cars coming and ruining everything. Not 
too bad. So this thing's even better off road, I think. I think it's even better off road. And uh, probably with some dirt, you get some nice jumps out of this thing for sure. So that's the end of this one. I don't want to make the video too long, guys. I will be back with uh, another RC car soon and also a drone. Um, and some more things with this little guy. I want to go off-roading with it, and then I'm going to compare it to my other 316. I mean, uh, I'm going to compare it to my 116th scale RC that I have that's brushless as well. And it's uh, just like one of these simple trucks. But this one, I'm thinking it's going to outbeat it because... This one's got a lot of power, but the other one does too on 3S. So I wanted to do a video on that. So soon I'll be making some more videos. So stay tuned for that, guys. And thanks a lot for watching.